In this video, we're going to be solving the formulas for the indicated variables. In our first example, here we have the area formula of a triangle, which is area equals one-half base times height. And it's asking us to solve for B. So we're going to try and get our B by itself. So we'll begin by rewriting our equation. So we can look at what we have going on, and we know that the one-half is multiplying with the B, and that the H is also multiplying with that. So we can kind of reorder this a little bit to make it a little bit easier if we want to. So we're going to go area equals one-half times H times B. And so now we're allowed to group this like that using the associative property. So right now our one half times h is multiplying it's multiplying with our b and so in order to get the b by itself because remember that's what we want to get by itself we're going to do the inverse of multiplication which is division so we're going to divide both sides by one half h now, if we do that and we see the one half h there, that might be a little intimidating to have that fraction in the denominator. So it might be worth rewriting it one more time so that we have the area equals h divided by 2 times b. So we're still multiplying here, but now we're going to get rid of that h divided by 2. So there's a couple different ways we can do this. We can multiply by the reciprocal, or we can multiply both sides by two and then divide by h. We're gonna go ahead this time and we're gonna multiply by the reciprocal, which means we're gonna multiply each side by two over h, two over h, because that enables us to cross off the twos and cross off those h's and that's going to leave us with a 2 times a divided by h equals b. Now you could also write it as 2 over h times a equals b, and that would also be okay. Let's try another one. Here we have the volume formula for a cone. Volume equals 4 thirds pi r squared h and it wants us to solve for the h. So we want to get rid of that h. So let's do this one a little differently than we did that last one. We're going to start off first though by rewriting it. And again, we're trying to get that h by itself. So what we're going to do first this time is we are going to get rid of this divide by 3 right there. We're going to get rid of that 3. So in order to get rid of that 3, of the divide, oops, we're going to multiply. So we're going to multiply both sides by 3. Now when we multiply here, on our right side, we're multiplying all of that by 3. And this is just one term. So the 3 only goes in there one time. So what it looks like is it's going to look like 3v equals 3 times 4 is 12, so 12 over 3 pi r squared h. And we can rewrite that as 3v equals 4 pi r squared h. So really what's happening is that this 3 here is canceling out with that 3 there. Okay. So again, remember that we're trying to get this h by itself, right? The h by itself. And so what's happening right now is that the 4 pi r squared is being multiplied with that h. So we're going to do the inverse of multiplication, which is division, and we're going to divide both sides by 4 pi r squared. And we can do it all at once instead of having to move it in as little pieces. So this will cross off with that, and that's going to leave us with 3v over 4 pi 
r squared equals h. And that is our solution.